What's up YouTube? I'm Derek with Lost Alien Media and this is my review for The Deep House. The Deep House is about two aspiring YouTube explorers who uncover the ruins of a house submerged deep beneath a lake, discovering the dark history of its past. Horror is my favorite genre when done right. Movies are entertainment and I find nothing more entertaining than being scared out of my mind within the confines of a safe environment especially in a packed theater on a Friday night. And watching a great horror flick during Halloween is almost sacred. So I decided to watch this alone on Amazon Prime last night, not knowing anything about it and found it to be a mediocre, somewhat forgettable horror film. The film is brilliant by combining two terrifying elements together, and that's the element of being trapped underwater and the supernatural aspect of the film. There's just something inherently frightening about the deep ocean, in this case, a lake. I think it has a lot to do with the mystery of what lies beneath the water and that we're much more vulnerable and helpless when we're in it. However, there's not much of a story and relies heavily on a gimmick. And by that, I mean the film features the two characters exploring the remains of a creepy house pretty much the whole time, coming across scares along the way. Very much like a survival horror video game, which isn't a bad thing. It's very effective at making you watch the film through the cracks of your hand while turning down the volume, especially the way they incorporate an underwater drone navigating certain areas of the house. It's a clever method that keeps you drawn to the screen, but the scares end up being pretty predictable and there are quite a few scenes like in most found footage films where the camera is moving all over the place and you can't see what's happening and you end up with a small headache by the end of it. The characters are likable enough and the actors portraying them do a good job but there's not much backstory or history on them so you're never really invested in their development or lack thereof in this film and you don't care too much about what happens to them. I could relate to them on some level because I'm trying to grow a YouTube channel myself. Please subscribe, by the way. <laughs> and I've always wanted to explore old abandoned buildings myself. But I think it's safe to say that I'm in the minority in that regard. Overall, the movie is effective at generating some decent scares, even though they're a bit predictable and nothing you haven't seen before. I definitely enjoyed the exploration of the house. It's an ominous setting with creepy dolls, mannequins, and pictures strewn all over the place. And the underwater element is great at creating tension throughout the film. But if you're looking for a horror movie with story and character development, don't expect to find it here. If you enjoy movies like As Above, So Below, or YouTube videos where people explore abandoned buildings, you'll have a good time with this movie. I give this movie a 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. Derek out.